Portland. Yeah, we made it to Portland. We're just here for a quick day. I had some photo shoots that I just finished. So we have some free time before we meet up with some friends. So we thought we'd talk more about why we're here. Yeah, we probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your photo shoots because Portland has gone through some rough time for the last, I don't know, one to five years. Well, especially this past year with the pandemic and you know we've had our fair share of issues in seattle as well uh, but just driving into portland we could already see the writing on the wall literally because yeah. there's a lot of graffiti like there's like 10 times more graffiti on the freeway walls as you're entering the city and a lot more homeless encampments along the sides of the roads as well we do have that in seattle but it's not as bad yeah, here is really prevalent, as is the rioting and really the political violence. Um, famously, it went on for almost a hundred days uninterrupted well, and most of the country was just a few days. So here is a whole different category of problems. And speaking of, we're actually here on May 1st, which is May Day, which is notoriously a really bad day to be anywhere in the downtown areas of Seattle. And I'm guessing Portland has the same issues, but definitely Seattle, like they're currently marching and there's warnings all over to not go to downtown right now. Yeah, I think it's the same story downtown. We went through downtown earlier and it was really, really dismal. Like it's honestly sad and depressing what's happening in downtown Portland. Everywhere you look, it's misery. What's kind of interesting though is that a lot of the parks are actually pretty open. Like we just passed a big one coming up here. There's a bunch downtown. And in Seattle, a lot of those parks were full of tents. They actually cleared them out recently because workers are starting to come back downtown. But here in Portland, the parks are actually pretty open. And and the tents though are on the sidewalk so you literally have to walk over people as you're trying to get places we've been spending our time actually in the parks because portland could be a really good city it's very green it has hills it has rivers it can be really gorgeous at times i would say similar to seattle the areas around portland are actually quite nice and the interesting thing about portland as well is if you've ever visited portland downtown never really was that exciting to be honest it always was in the outer neighborhoods where you found a lot of the food scene and the restaurants and where a lot of people actually live and we did stop by a couple of restaurants and cafes and those areas actually seem okay but definitely downtown has been hit pretty hard but the rest of the scene which is outside of downtown doesn't at least visually look as affected but again near concentrated areas there's a lot of homelessness and um, just signs of turmoil mm -hmm. and yeah unlike seattle you know they are making an effort to clean up most of the homelessness downtown, again, outside of downtown, it's questionable. That's more in the communities to clean that up. But in downtown, they are cleaning it up actively. Uh, we do have a video of you walking through downtown, actually, and showing some of that cleanup happening and a lot of the building that's still going on. But that's really because people use our downtown more. Like, we have a bigger workforce that commutes into downtown. So I think that's why they're cleaning it in Seattle. But with Portland, on the other hand, I feel like they don't really have, like, the big Amazon buildings. They don't have tons of people that that they know are going to return to the city so i think it's pretty questionable what will make them and when they'll actually clean up all of that downtown that's the thing a lot of people think of uh, seattle and portland as very similar cities because they're both in the pacific northwest they have uh, common culture to some degree however there are very big differences and the biggest probably is that seattle is home to very many world-class corporations and that city is such an economic hub that over there they immediately restart the activity it wasn't let sit in ruins like what is happening here in Portland where the economic muscle is just not so strong and they're having a hard time rebooting the city it looks like <laughs> Well, we're here at the Crystal Springs Rhododendron Garden and it's apparently a really good time of year to be here because the line to get in is pretty long. Yeah, they are in season and if you don't know, rhododendrons are native to the Pacific Northwest. They thrive here, they bloom twice a year and when they do, it's huge. It's really an explosion of color and they vary so much, almost any color.
found a hooded wood duck but we don't have zoom so I'm gonna try to get close to it there it is on the log I got some wood duck action one was brave and the other two took off the one closest to you didn't seem to care. <laughs> and they are cool, even their tails are colored. Mm -hmm. Look at this one, it's crazy. Wow. Is that a rhododendron? <laughs> it, it is, right? It is. Yeah, wow. And it's really cool how it's like that pink and green together. It's a nice color contrast. Yeah, that's massive. Stand by it. <laughs> <laughs> These ones behind us are like trees. I don't know if it's one single tree or several trees all together, but it's just massive and it forms like this huge canopy over us. Looks really cool. <laughs> That's a cool wow. angle. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we washed our eyes from all the stuff we saw downtown in this garden. It was really pretty. It was five dollars each to get in, but that's not a big deal. Five bucks is okay. So many rhododendron in there. Definitely worth it. Yeah. But check come it out. early, because yeah, they close at four, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 